Hey guys, hope you're enjoying your weekend. It's Sunday and it looks like we have a surprise Faye channel. So it was nearing the end of the month and we got nothing on Twitter. So hopefully this is going to like be a really good one. Actually, I don't need this. Hello, Fee! Oh my god, look at that. Hearts? Because those are the people who want to eat. Rinka and Effie. And I believe that's Ingrid, right? They're just hungry people. Faye Channel! Okay, so we know there's like three things there. Yeah, there's three things. There's a mystery unit and then there's an update. Oh yeah, Golden Week. Golden Week is awesome, guys. It's like a J week in Japan, but it's, it's gonna apply to everyone because uh, Fire Emblem's a Japanese company, but they're from I Intelligent Systems. Well, the Grails are useful, but like you get them regularly. In ether raids, it's the flowers that are kind of hard. Oh my god, that last banner though. The three houses banner. That is kick ass, guys. Also, like, more Camilla. <laughs> I know you guys like her. That's interesting. I thought they would just do like a pure, pure percentage for Hero Fest. I guess like the recent five stars are OP enough that it doesn't matter. Yeah, 20 summoning tickets. Oh my god, that's the equivalent of what, like 25 orbs for the first summon? I believe that's like... Mm, about 20 bucks, guys. 24 free summons, what? Oh, because you get the first one free, and then the ticket counts as the first one. So technically you can roll five, six times on a banner. Basically, it's a quiz, but even if you don't do the quiz, there's enough people who do it that it's basically 10 free orbs. <laughs> Which one do you think? All of them, except one is Felix. I wonder, like, if the quiz questions is kind of like a disguise. You know, like, kind of a disguise for, like, which heroes are going to come next? Yeah, the, the 10 orbs are nice, but I think they're trying to, like, gauge what heroes you're interested in. Because we're on, like, year 5, right? And, um, they're, they're going to run out of heroes. And they're going to start dipping into really obscure heroes. Or they're going to make seasonal heroes more of a thing. I mean, it's already a thing. Feels like Seleph. It's, but it's his dad. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> the, re, the rework for the art is something else. Selif. Selif is actually voiced by um same person who voiced Ignatz. Oh my god, you can pair these two heroes together, it's extremely OP. Oh 
That's completely opposite of his son, who's like a defense uh, phase unit. He's going to be an offense phase unit. So like pairing them together is really strong if you can switch between them. They're really like messing with the movements. First you, they added Kanto and now he can move four units. I mean, his sword was really strong before, now it's even stronger. He's like what he was like my first red cavalry unit on the team that I used, so it's gonna be really strong with Salif. Alright, it's a short Fae channel guys, it's only about 12 minutes. They're already on the last update. Two legendary heroes. Because <laughs> they're like underpowered, so they gotta like power them up. Kinda sucks. I'm gonna say like recently he was a feature unit on arena and I put him on my arena team but he's kind of underwhelming so I am glad that he's getting stuff. Yeah the neutralize against flying effect that's really useful for him. Attack resistance solo 4 really? She's also on the same team as I put Sigurd. The... I don't know if people remember Book 2 at this point in the 5th year, but... She died, guys. She's been dead, and they just won't let her die. <laughs> First they give her a New Year Seasonal, and now they're just reviving her. Yes, please give me more heads. There's only seven, and one is the default. <laughs> oh, so you have an Ara Ara style, and you have like a fierce style. I like it. I wish you can like change the hair colors for these summoners. Braid of Blick. Say that. I like the animation. I, I really like the animations that they're showing off right now. Even though it doesn't match with what Faye's saying, they're just showing all of the animations in a random order. Looks really good. Give him a shot. Auto create. Oh my god. You don't even have to pick your team anymore. They'll do it for you. Now, now just like auto equip and then auto play the game for you. Kind of like the Tempest Trials. After the first two clears, you just hit auto battle. I wonder if they added those summoners because like people were complaining there's only three each besides the default. Move to reserves. Oh. Basically, now you can bench Alphonse forever. <laughs> because 
I feel so bad for Alphonse. I feel so bad for Sharana too and Anna. Like they need to make them competitive. I know they're kind of like the main heroes, but uh, now forever bench Alphonse. You see they're giving us more barrack space. Yeah. Basically they're just giving us a hundred a thousand free barrack slots because it's it's getting kind of like I try to keep my barracks under a thousand, but you never know when you need a skill, so just keep them around. So now you can do the barracks or you can turn them into tomes. I mean, this is nice for new players who don't have an expanded barrack size because I can't believe they're still charging like one orb for every five barracks. Oh my god, they're all her besides maybe one Felix. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright. So the most exciting thing um, I think is Selif. Selif is a wonderful new addition guys. Um, in addition to that, I think the renewed heroes, um, Ryoma and Gunthra, having them have new skills is very very important. That means that the old legendary heroes, no matter who they are, um, intelligent systems might go back and fix them because some of these legend legendary heroes are weaker than the normal heroes so they definitely need the help his uh neutralized effective against flying that's going to be useful and then this chilling seal three negative seven on everything that's crazy and she definitely needs help she was one of the first legendary heroes so she definitely needs it I'm not sure about the attack resist solo, I understand that kind of like, she, she's like the, she has really high resist, so anybody who goes against her, it's going to get wiped if they're magic unit, um, but definitely these two things are what is the most important thing. I know Selif and Sigurn are going to be OP, but the updating of old legendary heroes that's going to be very important. The My Summoner stuff, it's alright. Um, I think having more choices for My Summoners, these two, that's going to be cool. But it's not kind of the star of the update. I think um, Intelligent Systems is setting the tone that they're going to be updating old Legendary Heroes. And that's definitely going to be worth. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts below. Catch you on the next one. Bye!